In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, extract, and upload SVG files into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you from a few different browsers and a few different sites. For each browser, the process is the same no matter which site you're on. So I'm on Creative Fabrica. They have a freebie section. You do need an account here, but it's free. So I logged into my account and I'm going to go down and just pick these little monster um, files. It says uh, right on the description there that it has an SVG and it shows you over here too. So I'm going to go back up and click download. Now I'm using Firefox to show you first. I will show you how to upload the files at the end. So if you're using Firefox after this process, you can skip to the end to see how I upload it or you can wait for your browser. So right up here, you'll see this blinking icon. That is our file. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to extract all. It's going to open another one of the same exact file. So, but you'll notice the difference. This one says compressed folder tools with that pink banner. That one we don't need and we can get rid of. This one we'll click on and I'm going to minimize it and save it for when I upload. I'm going to go to Google Chrome now and I'm on designbundles.net, another one of the sites I like. They have free designs here. You do need an account, but also that's free. Um, so you can see right here, this says SVG, so that's what we need. We're going to click on that and we'll go over to download for free. Now, usually for me in Google Chrome, the download kind of goes through and then it pops right up like this. Sometimes you'll find it down here along the bottom and you'll have to click it to get it to come up, uh, but that depends. So I'm going to extract all and extract. And then again, with the compressed folder tools, we can get rid of that one and then we can only, and then we can get this one. Again, I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to go over to Internet Explorer. And this is Love SVG. Her, uh, her files are free for personal use or you can purchase a license depending on what you want to do. The other two sites that I showed you previously have commercial uses with most of theirs, but always read your licensing for each image. So you can go right up here to free SVG cut files. And I'm just going to pick this one it's just because it's right here. She updates, updates pretty frequently, so you may not see the same one. So we're going to go down here to, it's going to say download the zip file, the pink bar. We're going to click that. It's going to download our file. And you can open, save, or save as. I'm going to open it, and that's going to open it right up. I'm going to allow. And then again, you're going to extract all, and then we can get rid of this um, compressed folder here. Minimize this one and get rid of this one. I'm going to show you a different file just to show you what you did, um, the different way to do it if you save it. So I'm just going to click this one here, and I'm going to go down to our pink bar and download the zip file. And again, it's going to pop up. And this time I'm going to save it. So then down here it comes up. The download has completed. Do you want to open it, open the folder, view downloads? I always open it, but I'm going to show you if you open the folder, it should bring you right to your file. You're going to right click on it. And then you're going to go up to extract all and extract. Had you done the open down when that bar came up, it would have done it as it did when I did the first one when it just opened. So we're going to, again, minimize this. Um, I prefer to work in Google Chrome with Design Space, so I already have that open. I'm going to open a new project, and we're going to go right over here to Upload. You're going to Upload Image. Now you can browse and search for your file, but for me, this is why I minimize it. It's so much easier to do this. I'm going to do the Design Bundles one, and you can look over here, and you don't see an SVG file. This Mine says Chrome HTML document. Sometimes it's an you know, Internet Explorer or a different browser, and that's okay, but it, this will be your SVG. So you can just drag it and drop it right here. And I like to give a lot of tags. So sorry, roll my eyes. 
out loud. And because this did come with a commercial use, I always put commercial use. That way, whenever I go, if I'm looking for something, if I'm selling, then I can just search commercial use and all of the ones that I have commercial use for will come up. And then you can just save it. Now you can either upload it from right here since we just uploaded it, or we can go over to images and you can search for whatever. You can search commercial use since that was one of the tags, or you can search for whatever, one of the tags that you used, and it will come up. I have a couple of things in here, but you can search through and you'll find it. It's right over here. So you're all set.